Hello, primary. Welcome to our remote learning assembly for Friday, May 29th. This is an exciting day today because the grade fives have completed the PYP exhibition. It's been a long 12 weeks, but they've done an excellent job and I am very proud of them. <clears throat> I will recognize, they will be recognized later on in the assembly, but we do have a couple of videos from uh, some grade five students sharing some of their experience and knowledge from the process of the exhibition. We have um, birthdays, we have the learner profile recognition, and we also have special recognition, the grade fives, and also to say thank you to all the people who have been involved in the process from the teachers to the mentors, Mr. G, Ms. Avril, and Mr. D. Well done, everybody. Enjoy the assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you a special news report from Namibia, only on channel CRC where we care about the rights of children. We bring you a special news report to talk about children's rights. Did you know that all people have rights, but children have special rights? You might ask why people, why, why children have special rights. Let's listen to the expert, Ms. Hanneli Divenacher, a lawyer from Ventuk. Children need these rights because they are very innocent and trusting and um, we have to protect their childhood and for some children that childhood is not what it should be. So what exactly are rights? More importantly, what rights do children have? We talked to our correspondent in the field, Hope Shipale, to find out more. Over to you, Hope. Thank you, John. A right is something a person has which should not be taken away. Rights are put into laws for legal protection. Children's rights are unique. According to the Children's Rights Alliance, there are four general principles that underpin all children's rights. They are non-discrimination, the best interest of the child, the right of several developments, and the views of the child. Thank you, Hope. Yes, children's rights are protected according to the UN Convention on the Rights of a Child. The most prominent rights that are protected are right to protection, non-discrimination, education, family, freedom, safety, and to have their voices heard. Mr. Norman Chombe, a Vintuk based lawyer is a is a well known human rights activist. Let's listen to Mr. Norman Chomme's view on children's rights. A right is a, a entitlement, it's an entitlement that you have as a human being. It's something that you have because you are a human being. Now we switch over to another one of our correspondents in the field. Benjamin Oldenburg, to hear about the government's position in protection of children's rights. Thank you, Joan. Yes, the government plays a very important part in the protection of children's rights. As a signatory to the UNCRC, the Namibian government protects the rights of children. That is also in line with the, with the Namibian constitution. Government passes laws to protect children such as Child Care and Protection Act. 
It is also government's responsibility to make adequate found funds research and resources available to care for children. Back over to you, John. Thank you, Benjamin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Why is all of this important? Well, the answer is rather simple, really. The healthy development of children is crucial in the future well-being of any society. In other words, if children are not allowed to grow and develop well, society will suffer when they're adults because children are so vulnerable. They suffer more from global issues such as poverty, poor health care, lack of nutrition, no water, no access to safe water, pollution and diseases. Yes, John, that's quite true. In the words of Nelson Mandela, former president of the Republic of South Africa, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than in the way in which it treats its children. This is Benjamin Oldenburg reporting live from channel CRC, where we care about the rights from children. Thank you, Benjamin. To conclude, children's rights matter and they have to be protected. Yes, John, all children have rights. Children, ask your friends, teachers, parents, or authorities to respect and protect your rights. We, the Never Been Children, are the future. Report any neglect of children's rights to the acting commander of Women and Children's Protection Unit at 061. 209-5329 or 081-296-2322. This is Hope reporting live at Channel CRC where we care about the rats. Back to you, John, in the studio. This is John from Self reporting to you live from Namibia, only on Channel CRC where we care about the rights of children. Hello primary school, Ms. Avril here. I hope you guys are well and fine. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about grade five today. I don't know if you're aware, but they've gone through a 12 week process for the IBPYP inquiry. They've come to an end today and they've completed this through resilience, hard work and determination. Tomorrow they have an exciting launch for you. We would like all the WIS community to take time and have a look at the work that they've done and also give them some appreciation and feedback. Well done, grade five. Let's give them a whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Our first nomination this week is the Principal Award. Miss Kachi has nominated Lose in grade five. During her exhibition process, Lose showed herself as a principled student. She was not only able to complete all her tasks on time and with great effort, but managed to take a lead in her exhibition group and carry the responsibility through throughout the process. Let's give Lose a whoosh. One, two, three. Whoosh. Moving on to our risk taker award, Miss Michelle would like to nominate Cabello in grade three. Cabello shared some videos using pictures along with his beatboxing. It sounded really good and blended well together. He was a real risk taker, creating some good so sounds and collaboratively putting it together using some technology. One, two, three, whoosh. Our balanced award. Miss Michelle would like to nominate Logan in grade one. Logan completes his music activities on a weekly basis. Logan is precise and completes his activities with enthusiasm. Keep up the good attitude, Logan. Let's give him a whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Communicator Award. Miss Chen would like to nominate Luke in grade three. Luke allowed me to share his bridge presentation, which he also created when he was six and he was in grade one. Now all the grade ones could see an example of what bridge research looked like. Thank you so much, Luke, for sharing, said Miss Jen. One, two, three, whoosh. Now we move on to our reflective award. Miss Jan would like to nominate Logan in grade one. Logan constantly reflects on his tasks and makes adjustments to them. Let's give Logan a whoosh. One, two, three, whoosh. Our final nomination is the Thinker Award. Miss Michelle would like to nominate Chion in grade two. Chiang took time to make her instrument, her guitar, and demonstrated the process beautifully. 
The t- guitar makes a great sound along with Jian's voice. Well done, Jian. Keep up the good attitude. One, two, three. Whoosh. That's all for now, primary school. I wish you well and have a wonderful weekend. All the best. Bye bye. Well, that's our assembly for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. Keep on doing your best. We just have a few weeks left of school. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.